Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ekram Formal Videos. Ankle and foot injuries are quite commonly encountered in the emergency. While everyone knows how to check for the basic examination like inspection, palpation and checking for the neurovascular status, more often we miss the special test done to check for the stability of the ligaments and tendon of the ankle. Fractures are quite obvious, but we miss these uh, ligament and tendon injuries. So today I'll be demonstrating four special tests, namely the anterior drawer sign for the anterior talofibular ligament, the forced inversion test done for the calcaneofibular ligament, the squeeze test done for the talofibular syndesmosis injury, and Thompson's test for the Achilles tendon tear. Anterior drawer sign is done to test for the anterior talofibular ligament rupture. This is a provocative test done to check for the integrity of ATFL. One hand holds the leg down while the other hand pulls the foot upwards and anteriorly. It is important to compare one side with the other. The presence of tenderness or laxity on one side indicates an ATFL rupture. Post inversion test is done to check for a calcaneofibular ligament rupture. This is a provocative test done to check for the integrity of the CFL. Here, the examiner forcefully inverts the foot while keeping the leg still with the other hand. Again, make sure to compare side to side. Tenderness or laxity of one one side indicate a CFL lesion. Tibiofibular syndesmosis damage. If there is a high grade angle sprain, we must rule out an injury of the syndesmosis. To assess for a syndesmosis damage, the examiner squeezes the tibia and fibula together to elicit tenderness. If present, this indicates a syndesmosis damage. Thompson's test to check for Achilles tendon tear. To confirm a suspected Achilles tendon rupture, have the patient lying prone with their feet hanging off the edge. The examiner then squeezes the calf while observing the foot. If there is a plantar flexion of the foot, this means that the tendon is intact. Otherwise, a reduced or absent plantar flexion when compared with the other side is indicative of a tendon rupture. 